One thing we want to consider when looking at pelvic floor and pressure management, as well as healing and diastasis and return to sport is overall rib cage mobility and intercostal strength. So during pregnancy, the rib cage shifts, the lower ribs flare, and we take on a more extended posture. The intercostals tend to lose a little bit of strength and that link tension relationship shifts as the rib cage also shifts. So what happens is those external obliques tend to show up a little bit more. We want strong external obliques, but we also need balance in our system. And when those external obliques do too much, they often create more of a cinching effect at those lower ribs, which tends to push pressure down on the pelvic floor. You can think about it like a toothpaste tube from above kind of squeezing. And so all of that is kind of coming down. Now on the pelvic floor, that can look like leaking, prolapse, um, maybe even just pelvic floor tension. And this doesn't always happen, but it's something that we want to be cognizant of and thinking about during pregnancy, we can kind of optimize our breathing pattern and postpartum when we're returning to sport, tuning in to getting that ex expansion, breathing into all parts of the rib cage, focusing on intercostal strength and overall rib cage mobility and focusing on elongating our exhale, especially if you're in a more narrow rib cage, thinking about more of a softer exhale versus that hard exhale, which does create also that cinching effect. We're cognizant of pressure down on the pelvic floor, getting that nice inhale and exhale bottom up, and we're focusing on ribcage mobility and optimizing our breath.